How you doing? This is Jared Gilbert of the. <laughs> Tonight is not the Dapper night. Den Hold, on. Hold on. Hold on. How you doing? This is Jared Gilbert of the Dapper Den, Ridgefield, Connecticut. Today we have Dustin. So Dustin, what are we thinking today with the beard and the haircut? Uh, well, I think I'm gonna take the hair all the way down. I think I'm gonna take it all the way off. What, what, why would you wanna change that from what you've been doing in the past? Uh, I've been doing shorter hair for most of my life, but I've been kind of noticing up here in the front and a little bit on the back here, it's been kind of thinning out. So I think I wanna give it a shot and kind of take it all off, see how it looks with the clean shave look. Just to see one time. Yep. And then with the beard, I wanna keep it long, but kind of you know clean it up, make it neat all around here. Here, you know, maybe thin this line out a little bit. Take the uh, the mustache up above the lip, so it's not in my mouth all the time. Shorten it up a little bit on here, but uh, I want to try to keep as much of the length as I can, and then maybe take care of these cowlicks underneath. Right, we're gonna a, go a a clean above look. the cowlick. Or? Right. Okay. Cool. Okay, so now we're gonna be using the wall senior to pretty much take down what we have. I like to go down in levels so it doesn't irritate the skin as much as just some people throwing gel on and straight razoring. So I got the zero gap, so it is kind of low. He's gonna let me know if any of this is irritating his skin while I'm doing it. But I'm gonna get it down to a nice low level so we could use a pro foil and then razor. Now, were you thinking about going as far as a razor today? Yes. Okay. Yep. Do you normally have any irritation from shaving? No, it's usually good as long as uh, the aftershave or you know alcohol goes on after. I can right. break out after if I don't Clean get out it. Clean out the pores. Yeah. Usually the, the shave is all right. Perfect. No, I mean. I think this is perfect. Leave we, it the way it is. Yeah, we're done. I mean, we, we were speaking about the thinness of the hair here, and, and we could really see it more. That's we, can't, we can't see it more, but we could see it now that I'm taking it down. I disagree with what you're saying. I think you have plenty of hair here. I think the hair per square inch is still there, but that's a personal, uh, personal opinion, you know? So you, you, you'll see when we're done, I think your head shape is a nice shape for this cut. You could talk. Yeah, <laughs> we're still here. Hi. I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> Nobody does. No. I'm doing the talking. <laughs> I'm continuing what I'm doing with my senior here, which is taking the hair down to a low level for me to go even lower where it won't grab on the hair. That's a little blotchy. I'll go back over it because obviously we're going to be touching things up. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? Never has to be perfect. Only when you get a review. What up? got some fancy shoes on. I didn't want to dirty those up. I don't know if you want to take a look at those. Sexy babies right there. <laughs> you know, Calvin Klein, if you want to give me that sponsorship, oh, let me know. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, excuse me. I mean, me hey. Too, me too, Calvin. Right? <laughs> me too. I, the underwear is very comfortable. <laughs> so we're just going to disinfect, as usual, 10 minutes, like I like to. The babless. I like this, like I've said in the past, because of the multi-speed of the babless. Very lightweight, and it has a nice surface on it that gets everything. I went down first with the Wall Senior, which takes it down to I don't know. Everybody gaps it differently, you know. Um, triple zero four zero. This is a little bit lower than what the Senior was, and then I'm going to use the Pro Foil, and then I'm going to go back over it with the razor. I find this way for me works better because there's less grabbing on the hair follicle itself. I've seen videos of people using uh, the gel and just hammering through it. I, I don't know. 
I mean, I guess if you put enough product on, it would work, but I like it this way. The customer enjoys the process. Okay, so this is the Babless Pro. We spoke about this, obviously, in other videos. Really like this compared to other manufacturers. It gets really close. I feel it's seriously as close to skin as possible. I'm stretching the skin here, and it's pulling the hair out of the pore. Now, a lot of people have uh, commented, you know, Sounds like I'm talking to barbers, sounds like I'm talking to consumers. I'm talking to everybody that's listening. These are fantastic products that we recommend, uh, that we use every day. The Beard Brand product is fantastic as well. Let's get more into detail with this. What I'm saying is I like this because it's, it, it cuts down on time. A lot of barbers, old school barbers, they'll use the hot towel method. They'll use multiple hot towels, open the pour, you know, um, soften the hair itself. This kind of cuts a couple of those towels out. Do I like to use a hot towel? Of course, because after I'm using this, all the dead skin and hair follicles are still getting caught in the pore. So I don't want it to be irritated when I do use a straight razor. So I will use a hot towel, but I use the hot towel once. I don't know about you. I rock this haircut 24 seven. I think we could be twinning right about now. I think it looks good. It's I good think love. it does, yeah. Beard, I, I ball, approve. Ball, yep. beard, yeah, sexy. I mean, I, w I was probably about 23, 24, when I really started noticing the thinning. I mean, I was younger I, than that, 21. I mean, I had the Travis Bark a little mohawk, believe it or not, and I had my little spikes, but I mean, Man. truthfully, what is making you want to shave it down? What? I mean, two years ago, you saw, I showed you the picture, I had hair down to my shoulders. Right. It was long, but you know what? It thins here, here, and here, and that's the way it is, so it's all right. I gotta, you know, kind of just go with the, what looks the best for me. And I think what looks the best for me right now is to take it all off. And this is feeling good. Yep. Oh no, it feels fantastic. We finished off. I used my Wall Senior. Then I dropped down to my Babless Pro. Then I dropped down to my Pro Foil Babless. Cheers. Now I'm putting some shave gel on. And we're gonna hit that hot towel like we were talking about. Not for long. How hot is that? Oh, is that all right? perfect. No, 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 put that on. Oh, yeah. This will heat up whatever remaining hairs are still there. Set the pores up and then we'll shave. I'm feeling it's a little moist still from the hot towel, but I'm gonna put a little more lotion on that puppy so it glides nice and smooth. Now it's already low, because we took it down with the Pro Foil. When I'm doing this, I'm rubbing this into the pores, but I'm also A, massaging the scalp a little bit, and I'm feeling around if there's any, I don't know if I want to use imperfections, but imperfections. It's false, I have a perfect I'm gonna, head. I'm gonna use it anyway. Perfect head. Perfect, perfect head. Stretch the skin, and just guide. Lot. I'm using this as a guide right here. I see right here there's something. You gotta stay clear of certain items. Now there's not too much pressure. I'm literally putting it on and letting the blade just glide down. Very smooth. Yes. All right, so we just finished the top here. I'm just gonna put a little Noxzema to cleanse what I just did. Clean out the pores. I hit this towel, which is cold water on here. With some aftershave. All the pores that were irritated, this is gonna help out a lot. You know, sometimes I was going against the grain. A couple of pores were irritated. Um, 
not really cuts, but irritation. It does happen. So what now, I'm going to hit all this with the cold air. Which should feel pretty decent. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have you look up a little higher here. Might actually hit this with the heating iron for a second to help me out here. You got a little wave there. You want to hit Feels that? so nice. Oh, it's very relaxing. Oh yeah. I'm gonna probably hit this in this area right here because he was talking about go higher than the calic um, because it waves out and the difficulty. I think this right here with this brush that we've spoken about, James has spoken about it before, I have spoken about it. I love this thing. Now, one of my other barbers actually was talking about this brush and saying he doesn't like to use it because it actually straightens the hair and changes the natural shape of the hair. Now, if you're gonna be using product, which I recommend by Beard Brand, um, this will actually help me cut it. It will be straight. I recommend you getting one of these and then, which we've spoke about and you have. <laughs> I tried. Right. And, you know, once you straighten this and you use your Beard Brand product, that's the whole idea behind it. The product will keep the beard in the shape that you want it to be. So I'm going a little bit above his calic here because that was his problem area. I'm gonna switch back and forth. I like using the Senior first because it has a big surface. Then I go to the Babyliss Pro again. Kind of cut in. Now in the last video we spoke about this, I'm gonna bring it up again. The hair is actually coming this way because of the cowlick. And this hair is going down. It's gonna play tricks on you. You know, you guys in TV world might see it differently than I'm seeing it here, but I'm gonna physically get this as straight as possible to my sight right in front of him. He's not gonna be looking up like this all the time. So once we finish, we're gonna look directly in the mirror to see the shape of his beard. Okay, so now we're hitting this, just to straighten out that area. I'm gonna go a little bit on top like we spoke about. He doesn't like to angle cut it, likes it straight across pretty much. Trying to cut your lips or? Nah, you could relax. Alright. So we're just gonna even out this a little bit. Is that too hot for you? Nope, I'm good. Just gonna let that settle mm -hmm. for a second. Soaking to the pores there. Just gonna make sure all this is out of his way. Some gel. I'm gonna have you look up as high as you can look. There you go. Rub that gel in there. Now I have everything uh, set up here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go with the curvature of his face here. Now it looks like I'm flying through here because I'm confident. If if you're just starting out using a straight razor, take your time. Every side is not symmetrical. You're gonna wanna double check afterwards. His hair really softened up from what I just did. We're gonna kinda square this off nicely. He doesn't wanna really blend it in. He wants more of my style. Straight across. Now, he does like to shape it uh, more than 
a natural shape. When I say natural, I mean just tapping it. I've done videos where there was drastic lines on the top of the mustache, non-drastic. He, he likes to shape it, but not too thin, but noticeable. He likes it even across the top, not an angle. Now I've got multiple towels. I'm wiping off as I'm going. I'm double checking. Now obviously, like I said before, what I'm seeing here and what you're seeing there are two different things. I'm gonna eventually pick him up and look straight on, because that's how we see people. Okay, so how are we feeling? Feeling good. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, beautiful. Beard is shaped up beautifully. We're gonna be using the Tree Ranger Styling Bomb by Beard Brand. Now what this will do is, this will hold all this stuff that we just shaped up down into place and keep it from movement. We're gonna double check everything. I think what I wanna do, like I was speaking about before, the line, symmetricalness of what you see and what I see. I do see a little bit, but that's that area that I really don't wanna to go too crazy with because once it starts movement, it's straight again. So I make sure that underneath is symmetrical and the product is good and the customer is happy. How we feeling? Feeling good. Nice and fresh. Another good one. Dapper Dan. Okay, we built the best bar you could ever imagine for dudes who like to travel. Grab yourself some utility bar. This stuff works as a shave soap, beard wash, hair wash, and of course, body wash. Take it with you, no TSA problems. Get it at beardbrand.com.